hello you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be showing you some stuff that i bought so guys things are really expensive okay so everything that we purchased came up to 300 dollars can you imagine yeah so i'm gonna show you what 300 dollars can get you in canada for groceries so if you're interested in seeing this video please stick around don't forget to like this video if you enjoy drop a comment subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn your post notification bell on We're gonna start with the meat stuff that we purchased first. Everything came to $66 flat. So we have liver, kidney, as they call it, oxtails, and goat. So that is $66, you guys. We move on to the stuff from Walmart. Everything came to $151.82. So we purchased two Frosties because we're a family of we're a frosty lover family so we purchased two frosties to serve us and we purchased three bags of brown rice or parboiled rice you know we still gotta keep our roots so we purchased three supplegen supplegen i will make supplegen nestle supplegen people nestle if you're watching please sign us you know we need some collaborations okay and we bought our little mayo Morocco whip thingy. It's this sweet chili sauce. This is the plug. When you buy your wings, you just drop this on it and chef kiss. And of course, we love our corn, so we purchased just one because we have another one. This. Guys, let me put you onto this bread. You see this bread here? This is the bread that you're supposed to buy in Canada. This is the bread that gives you the Jamaican feel. You know, when you're looking for that authentic bread? Yeah, Dempsters. And y'all know me, I don't leave out my chocolate chips and Pringles. I also purchased this because I'm starting to eat healthy, you know? <laughs> I'm going on another diet, you guys. And I'm going to, you know, I want my salad to taste a little yummy, yummier, so. This is it. It's balsamic vinaigrette or vinegar. It's very good on your salad, so you can try it. We also purchased this Glad bag, garbage bag. Smells so good. Skincare, body care. Purchased these for the baby and for myself. This one, I find that this one, this Nair is, is a cheaper, cheaper one. It's on the cheaper side and it's actually smells not so bad and it i like the feel that it gives after you shave so i've used the other ones and i'm not a fan but this one yeah so milk when it comes on to milk you guys we have tried them all so people who don't really know about milk you have like two percent one percent and i think zero point something and three percent we should have taken the three percent but this is the two percent so um I, I think the higher the percentage the more i don't know how to explain it but three percent is the one that we usually take and it reminds us of the milk from jamaica so if you buy the lesser percentage one it will be like more like a watery con um, consistency so it goes so the milk just drop right pan it look wild and finally you guys we purchased this case of water i think 24 is inside yeah 24 inside so everything that i just showed came to 151 dollars 82 cents so let me know if that is expensive or not so bad or talk to me in the comment section you guys now moving on to the stuff from the real canadian superstore for 39.69 and i'm going to show you all of that so first we have this tropicana drink or should i say juice because it's natural according to them so this is really nice we also have this franks 
I don't know, it's so hard to find francs here. It just don't taste like the francs that we used to buy. So we are gonna try this one to see. Guys, when you come here, you have to just try, 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 try stuff until it gets as close as possible to what you're used to. So we'll be trying this one. Hopefully it gives that reggae jammy. No, no, reggae jammy. We want to do it. Give that grace taste. So, yeah. And we also purchased this chicken. And guys, chicken here have expiry date. So look out for that. So when you buy chicken back home, I guess if you purchase it from CB and Best Dress, you will have the date. I don't know. Comment down below if you have ever purchased big bag ones from them. I've purchased it from them, but I've never checked to see if there's an expiry date because I'm not used to chicken having expiry date. But if you have checked before, comment down below and let me know. But yeah, chicken here, they do have expiry date. So look out for that. And I told y'all that I am on a journey. So this is dinner tonight with my balsamic vinegar. And I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, we have some green onions or spring onions or scallion, whatever we call it. And we have um, carrots. Yeah, we have some carrot. Well, one carrot here. We also have this tray of egg and one is broken. <laughs> yeah, 30 eggs. Guys, I totally forgot the tomatoes and oranges so 39.69 again for those stuff so just add these two stuff to them and let me know if five thousand dollars can give you that in jamaica i think it is reasonable now that we added the oranges and the tomatoes but before or without these mm. so those are the stuff from the real canadian superstore once more it's 39.69 i don't think that that is bad that's roughly five thousand jamaican dollars um five thousand dollars let me know if five thousand dollars in jamaica can give you egg salad the thingamajig with the drink the juice um the francs and the chicken let me know if you can get those for five thousand dollars in jamaica so now we move to the stuff from dollarama so everything from Dollarama came to $59.51 and I didn't check my receipt. I feel like, anyway, <laughs> yeah, so $59.51. Let me tell you something about Dollarama, you guys. You go inside Dollarama and you say, okay, everything is like $1, $2, $3, up to $4, I think. And you're like, yeah, man, Dollarama is cheap. You guys, at the end of your bill, you will realize that Dollarama is a little bit pricey. It is getting there, you know? So don't let the little money fool you. They do add up. So everything, I can't believe that everything from Dollarama came to $59.51. That's like almost $60. So let me show you the stuff and you let me know if it is reasonable or they break my off. So we got this for $4.75. We got this Lysol as well. We got three Irish Spring, and these are the bigger ones. I think they're just a little bit bigger than the regular bottle Irish Spring. This is for two fifty. This is for two dollars, and it's pistachio. This, not seeing the price, but it's for driving to gloves. A little mouse wireless mouse this battery is for 125 and uh, this Febreze you know me and my Febreze thingy so yep yeah, this and I also purchased this Colgate sensitive it's my first time using this usually I buy, I buy usually I would buy Sensodyne but I didn't see the Sensodyne and I forgot to look in Walmart so I was like, mm, let me try the Colgate Sensitive and they have different ones. This is the Smart White. They have for gum. They have for, well, it's a different one. But I want to try this one. My teeth are very, very, very sensitive. Like sometimes I'll be talking and I'm feeling this. <sighs> so, yeah. So again, guys, everything from Dollarama came to... $59.51 these little simple stuff 
like I'm, I, I'm still looking for another bag. I am definitely gonna check my receipt after this video because this does not look like $51.50, $59.51, cents. like, no sir. Oh, we got a broom, broomstick, a broomstick. I said, let's check your receipt, you know, people, because I didn't remember the broomstick. So yeah, that's the only thing, you guys, for $3.75. I still think that this is, I was looking like if I was supposed to do a rough check, I would probably just say $30 for everything here. But the money is double and the receipt is reflecting. So I don't know. I don't know. But the body wash is for $5. So it kind of, it kind of add up. Yeah, I guess it kind of add up. So and the glove is also for $5. So that is it, you guys don't forget to leave your comments you can always comment your favorite item if you have ever tried balsamic vinegar comment down below and let me know if you like it if you have ever tried anything here just comment down below and let me know. just interact in the comment section you guys remember the more you comment the more youtube sends out the videos you know so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new and please share the videos you guys share the videos um, drop a comment. Let me know if everything here, if $300 is, you know, a little bit expensive or, you know, it's worth it or, I mean, it depends on how long your groceries serve you, like if it's for bi-weekly or every week. Um, I mean, we have to top up some stuff at the end of next week, but, you know, most of the stuff will serve for another week. So, this is it, you guys. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.